Thanks for staying with us. It is still Game On on New Central TV. Now let's go straight to the world of boxing where a lot is happening with the Nigeria Boxing Federation. And uh, the board of Nigeria Boxing Federation has uh, indefinitely suspended its vice president, that's uh, Azania Omo Agege, for impersonation. Now we hear that in a letter signed by the Secretary General of the Fed, uh, Federation, uh, Agege impersonated as president of the NBF, which was confirmed by various African boxing federations. And it has been so far told to debunk uh, those uh, messages that were sent and also come out to apologize to the NBF. And uh, of course, as they said, they also printed letter-headed papers of the NBF without approval. But of course, we've got the technical director of the Nigeria Boxing Federation joining us. That is uh, Femi Anyodibu, uh, who is uh, joining us to give us more clarity on what's happening with the Federation. Good to have you with us, Femi. If you can yeah, hear me, you. can you kindly unmute yourself? Okay, we can hear you now. Um, let's talk about what's happening with the Nigeria Boxing Federation. Put us up to date with the current situation with the Federation. And of course, uh, the Vice President, who we hear, he was suspended, talking about the Omoa Gege. Yeah, I just don't understand where he's deriving his uh, assumption from. Because uh, what, it, Omar Gigi is not bigger than the Federation, he is not bigger than the board. Only him is just parading all sort of uh, rumor. I just don't know where he's getting it from. Now, he has done a lot of atrocities. I would not have told the CD. He has forged the letter headed uh, of the Federation, writing letter on behalf of uh, uh, capacity as a vice president. I don't know where he derives the power from. <laughs> We have a sitting president, General Kenneth Minima, that is fully in charge of Nigerian Boxing Federation. I don't know where he's getting his own assertion from. So he's getting he's getting drunk on the, the whole issue. He has he has damaged the reputation of boxing beyond your imagination, just for his own selfish interests. Let me tell you, look, Nigeria stands for Olympic, and we decide to join the Olympic train earlier enough because the EBA is uh, making a session for us being suspended by the IOC. And we cannot jeopardize the future of our athletes for one person who is assigned. So the board sat in their own, uh, uh, this is to look at the offer of this world boxing. And Nigeria decided to go with world boxing. So that, I think that's just the, the truth about the whole issue. Now, you know, let, let's talk about the position of the Nigeria Boxing Federation and the federal government. Where are we uh, at, this, uh, at this point in time? We are board that is representing each and every zone in, in Nigeria brought together to form the NBF. Now, based on that, we have General Kenneth Lima as our president and Azania Omadiga as a vice president. The same president was the one that signed Azania's on to go and sent us in uh, Eba. Since his assumption in Eva is he is on his own, he has never carried anybody along. Nobody knows any of his activities. How can you be uh, on Eva's board? You are not in good time with the secretary. You are not in good time with the president. You are not in good time with most of the board members. And I don't know where he's driving from that. He said that he's, he's a president. The president how? So these are one of those things we are facing in the Federation. Now, we know that this will surely affect the athletes, talking about the boxers as we prepare for uh, Paris 2024. But what do you think the solution will be to this crisis? Because a lot of people have tagged it as crisis in the NBF, that is the Nigeria Boxing Federation. What do you think will be the best resolve uh, on this uh, matter at hand? Let me tell you, far from it, I can assure you that this 
uh, uh, problem. It's not going to affect our athletes. It's not going to affect our boxers. Our uh, boxers are focused and they know what they want and they are for Olympic and they know what is at stake of them. These are uh, uh, our internal uh, board crisis, which to me is not even crisis because you understand, there's no how among 13 board members, 11, 11 voted for uh, Nigeria to join World Boxing. And only you, as I said, we must remain with uh, with Eba. Where is it been done? At the same Eba, I want you to call your call your attention back. They've been in crisis with the IOC, with the referee and judge. Because if you go to check the what is it called? the uh, submission of IOC on them because they lack transparency, match fixing, and who, even the Rio. Uh, uh, 20, Olympic 2016, they had match fixing, scandal, a lot of scandal, coupled with uh, the world politics, the president of IBA is from Russia, stuff like that. So with all this, they have huge problem on their head, which has not been resolved. And there's no sign of getting over the, the, the problem. Now, the IOC, now said all the whole uh, boxing family to go and come together and form another body. They are true with Iba. Oh. Now, most of these uh, countries you could think of, US, Canada, Germany, UK, Australia, Finland, a lot of countries, 27 of them come together and say that they form world, world boxing. And we can see yeah, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Nigeria mm. took the giant step among all Africans to join uh, uh, the, the, the Olympic movement. And that has got Azania restless. And the point, the point in question is that even the IBA that is shot, what has Nigeria benefited from IBA? Mm. Up to, we've never benefited anything. Now, let me tell you, we took athletes to uh, Cameroon for Africa Championship, which they promised of paying them uh, $20,000 for gold medalists, $15,000 for silver medalists, $10,000 for bronze medalists. It has never happened before. At the middle of the game, they said no. Now the gold medalist has to be $15,000, uh, silver medalist $10,000, bronze medalist $5,000. Fine, and good, okay, okay, no problem. We finished this fight since up till date. My athlete has not been paid public. Wow. No time has been given to them. They keep promising all sorts of promises. Next week, today they are doing doping tests. Tomorrow they should support their account. Different, you understand? And you see, these boxers, they don't have anything to do. This is their job. That is their business. After finishing uh, your fight, give them their deal. Up to now, they don't have, you still want us to stick with this uh, organization. Where has it been done? Check all other sports, long tennis, table tennis, even if they should put a star price of car. Immediately after the game, they'll give you the key, you will drive home. Yeah. So we, all the right. athlete, we, we, the officials, managing that we've been under serious pressure okay. from the athletes. Most of them, that is what they lived on. Give them their price money, their price money is not being given to them. All right. Uh, well, we, we hope that um, the situation will get resolved with the Nigeria Boxing Federation. And uh, like you rightly said, it will not affect our the, athletes. The, the, as we this, this, the, this, this, the, the situation is already resolved because all he right. has been suspended. And okay. they gave him mandate to retrieve all his uh, destiny. And if he shows remorse, then the board will look into, uh, into the issue. All right. But up till now, as I'm talking to you, he's still parading himself. And you see, put it on ground, put it on black and white. Mm. It's all right. Nigeria is on the right path. And we got all the necessary approval before joining the war boxing. Okay. All right. Nigeria is on the right path. And we're wishing uh, Nigeria Boxing Federation well in uh, the uh, future. Of course, I'm uh, talking about our boxers as we prepare for the Paris 2024 Olympics. I'd like to say thank you very much, Femi, for joining us today, the Technical Director thank of the Nigeria Boxing Federation. Thank you, sir.